Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy. Today I want to do an experiment. Can you machine a flywheel with a brake lathe? Ah, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? I clean it after every time I use it. I just, I love it. Where did I get this idea? Why, the book, of course. It says right up here at the top that on some smaller flywheels you can actually use the rotor cutting tool. But on larger flywheels, you're going to have to mount the arbor for the drum cutting tool, and you may have to put it in there backwards. So you may have to do a slightly different setup uh, if you're going to uh, machine a larger flywheel. But I just checked, and it appears that this flywheel we can machine with the uh, brake disc cutting attachment. So I don't really have to take anything else off. To machine a flywheel, one of the things that you may run into are the locator pins that may be coming out of the top of it for uh, the pressure plate. This has no locator pins, so I don't have to be concerned with that here. There's a special slide hammer kit that you use to pull those pins out before you do any machining on a flywheel. I have a configuration I believe will work. It starts with this. Next comes the flywheel. Next comes the cone that fits up in the inner part of it, like that. And then I'm just running spacers until I can get out to the end. Ta-da! Mounted flywheel, right? It's blowing your mind right now, isn't it? Now I know, and I'm going to recheck to see if this will go all the way down in to the center here, because I want to machine from the inside all the way out. And that's as far as the machine goes in, but I believe once this extends out, we're definitely within a range that'll work. I don't want this coming in contact with the back of the flywheel at all. Now that I've got this fairly well set up, I'm gonna lock it down. Make sure I'm still on rotor feed. Now, speed is a good question. I think I'm just gonna go at the same speed I would normally do a rotor, which is somewhere around eh, five, four or five on this. I'm going to bring it out to set the position of the bit. Run it in. It's as far as I need to go. I'm just going to take off a couple of thousandths just to try it out. And here it goes. The bit seemed like it was getting pretty hot. And I think because the inner part was worn more than the outer part, so it's cutting off a lot more out here than it was in there. I'm just gonna give a bit a minute to rest. I don't wanna change the settings at all, but I may move the bit around after this cut because I might have just burned it up. Well, that's the first pass and that looks pretty darn good. I mean, still, few areas that need attention but that's pretty darn impressive actually I will switch my bit around because it's probably not happy with me right now reposition it and start another cut and now I know I've got a straight even surface I also have an idea to help with chatter I wonder if this is big enough to go around maybe yeah it's just too too much there I don't think that's gonna work Because I just moved the bit around, kind of got to start over. But now that I've got a uniform surface all the way out, it should cut the same all the way. Awesome. Except for those little spots there. Gorgeous. I mean, I, <laughs> I love this result. This is an amazing result. 
I'm gonna go back in and do one more cut just so that I can get rid of these things just to, you know, have it perfect. Now, how much can you machine off of a flywheel? Good luck finding a spec, because I used to work at a place where we actually had a flywheel machining machine, and we could never find a spec for exactly how much to take off. Uh, within reason, I suppose, is the best answer I can give you. But I'm gonna make one more pass to make it absolutely perfect and beautiful, and we'll be ready to uh, put this in the car when the time comes. <laughs> There's that itty bitty teeny tiny spot there. I'm not worried about it. Uh, maybe that little spot there, but still. Nothing to, nothing to write home about. Once the clutch seats in, it'll seat in. But to answer the question, can you machine a flywheel with a brake lathe? Yes, you can. It's so pretty. Something that's worth mentioning is when I burned up that bit a minute ago, instead of setting the bit where it's all shiny on the inside, do it on the outside where the clutch hasn't made contact. That way you don't run into the same issue. It may not make contact on the inside here, but instead of like really cutting in when it gets to the outside past the shiny part, it uh, won't burn up the bit. Yes, you can machine a flywheel with a brake lathe. If you have additional automotive questions, ericthecarguide.com, link in the description to make it easy. Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you wish to connect with me socially, be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.